make it, uh, I, I would say that it's important to make the, um, um, the medium uh, that is made possible by that uh, open as possible uh, to allow people to freely interact with each other and freely move from uh, areas of information to other areas of information. Um, well, you know, we're exploring that here uh, at this conference, uh, which is called Pathways to the 3D Web. And so there's a certain, uh, there's a certain self-selection of the people that are here uh, around the idea that uh, multidimensionality, specifically 3D environments, are going to be really important to uh, how we interact with each other and how we find information now that the capabilities of devices can support that kind of interface. Well, you know, I'm, I tend to be quite an idealist, and I'm working in the context of higher education. And I believe that uh, a networked world uh, provides information resources to people, uh, allows social groups to function and, and reinforce themselves, um, allows uh, the social dynamics to, to create value for people in those spaces. And the sum total of those social interactions and access to information resources leads to a, an education, uh, an enlightenment, if you will, of people, which makes it possible for democracy to be much stronger. Yeah, um, we, we see that, uh, we, I, I would say that the fear is, is that the uh, ease of forming social groups online can lead to um, essentially a closing in of the world rather than an expansion of the world. That is, people may be interested in only associating with people that think the way they do uh, or accessing information resources that don't challenge their world view. Um, and as a result, the world to those people uh, becomes much narrower um, and their view becomes much narrower and more parochial. Uh, and that has an erosive uh, quality on uh, democracy. Uh, when, the, when, the, when the populace is not educated uh, in a broad sense, uh, then democracy does not work very well. Ten years out? Um, ten years out is not that far away. Uh, you know, I already have to start, uh, in my capacity at Duke, uh, planning for things five years out. Uh, so that's just one cycle of planning out for me. Um, I think that what we're in the middle of here is um, a, a real change in the way we use information technology. Um, the devices that we've had and that we've uh, been using, the, the, the computers, the desktop computers, even our laptop computers, have primarily been about uh, carrying around calculation devices. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're computers that, you know, the, the name computer means it's computing something, right? Um, and, and I think that we've, we, we are at the end of an era where computers are actually used for computing, and at the beginning of an era where computers are used as media devices, uh, as ways of, of communicating with each other. So the early notion of the computer has been this sort of solitary calculator that wasn't network connected. These were, you know, you bought your computer, put it on your desk, and then the idea of connecting it to the network is something relatively new. And it's only been, you know, that capability has only been around for 160 months. Uh, and now we're moving into a time when computers are in our hands. I mean, I have right here, you know, a little a little computer, uh, and I carry it around with me. So it's like a little laptop computer, and this is with me all the time. And this is a, not just a computer, but it's a TV camera, uh, and I am wirelessly connected to a network, ubiquitously connected to a network, so I can actually create media and pass that media to other people and publish that media. I could consume media that other people are creating. This is more than a calculator. This is like a little, a little communication device, and it really represents a very early stage in the capabilities that are, that are really on their way here. Um, so I think that the whole nature of computing and 
and connectivity uh, is really uh, poised to change. And that's one of the things that we're exploring, at, especially in my work at Duke University, is how can we take advantage of the fact that people are carrying these very powerful devices around with them, uh, how can we use those to extend the value of the educational experience, especially at Duke? Um, I think it's the ability to connect to information anytime, anywhere. Uh, and, and more than that, to connect to social context, to other people. Uh, you will never need to be alone. Uh, you will always have the access to uh, a, a broad group of people, uh, no matter where you are. Exhilarating. 